Centuries have passed. But our order has remained steadfast in its sacred mission to preserve the balance between man and half-breed. Such was the quest of our founder, King Arthur. May his name be forever resplendent. Is it true? Did the Lord Chancellor fight by Arthur's side? That is the legend. Today, that balance is threatened with grave upset by a new contagion. The Rebellion. As long as its campaign of anarchy and terror is allowed to continue, the plague of lichen infestation that has infected our city will only grow more intolerable. Well, the Lord Chancellor will thus agree to the urgency of a mission into Whitechapel. Whitechapel is a matter for the civil authorities. When the noble Arthur sought to contest for truage with the Roman Emperor Lucius, he did not trouble himself with issues of jurisdiction. Do not presume to quote history to me, Sir Percival. <laughs> I've seen more of history than you shall ever know. I remind the knights here assembled that the threat to this order comes not only from without, but within. We must stand vigilant together. Lest our ranks be poisoned by those who seek the destruction of all we hold sacred. No one is immune from the rebel's influence. Surely the Lord Chancellor does not mean to question Sir Percival's loyalty. This order has long appreciated Sir Percival's counsel. But the current disruption calls for caution and concerted effort, not rash action. Sir Percival has cause, Lord Chancellor. The situation in Whitechapel may need to be addressed. Does Lord Darwin speak with the blessing of the peers? Lord Hastings, Lord Dunglass. He does, Lord Chancellor. Perhaps the question should be put to the Council. Very well. What says the order of Her Majesty's royal knights in the matter of Whitechapel? Aye or nay? Nay. The nays have it. This council is dismissed. Our order grows too prudent, Grayson. We wither away from this inaction. Leave it, Sebastian. Caution be damned. So Percival is most agitated. You should learn it is best not to cross him when his mind is set on something. What do you make of this? Percival seems intent on pursuing his investigation. You heard the Lord Chancellor. The Council will not You cannot deny that there is some truth to what Percival has said. Need I remind you of your place, Lady Egwene? Who are you to question the Council's wisdom? seldom few options left at this juncture. Galahad will deal with this in due time. I have a more pressing matter to attend. As you wish. How many of us will make the journey to America? Uh, Lord Barrett, Lord Darwin, and myself. I've heard many great things about the Agamemnon, Lord Hastings. Oh, she is the finest the United India Company has ever built. I can promise you a pleasant and speedy journey across the Atlantic. Can we expect your presence at the launch, Sir Lucan? Would be my honor to see you off on your maiden voyage, my lords. Sir Lucan, if I may. Um, if you would permit me, my lords. Of course, Sir Percival. Alistair, you know as well as I do that Whitechapel is the key to these disturbances, to everything. My opinion is immaterial. The Council has spoken. Few dared countermand your father's express wishes. Need I remind you that we all serve at the Lord Chancellor's pleasure? You are the Knight Commander! Make him see reason. You think an incursion into a rebel stronghold is reasonable? I consider it an acceptable risk. One for which you'd be willing to accept full responsibility should unforeseen circumstances arise. Let what befalls be upon my head. No one else's. Whitechapel remains off limits. That is officially. You have my thanks, Sir Lucan. 
Of your thanks, I have no need. Bring me results. As the Night Commander wishes. Well, we're going in. Most excellent. When do we move? You're not talking about Whitechapel. But my Your pro brother sought fit to permit us a reconnaissance. Secure the necessary materials. Isabeau, a word. Tell me, monsieur, about the Lord Chancellor. What is a Marquis? Sir Lucan and Lady Egrain were adopted by him, yes? Yes, they were. Why would he bring them into such struggle? Perhaps he wanted to regain a semblance of the humanity he lost. When time came to join the Order, the choice was theirs to make. Regardless, I would not wish this life on my children. Marquis, we need to hurry. Oui, mon général, avec plaisir. Monsieur. Friend Mallory has always been something of a rogue operative. I've never known a better man. Still, I shall rely on you to be a, call it a sobering influence. Sebastian and I have long been partners. I trust him with my life. A little restraint would not be ill-advised. Do look after my sister, won't you? No man in the realm can keep Isabeau from danger when she's of a mind. Oh, you say true. What's a brother to do, eh? Good luck and Godspeed. Always at your service, Sir Gallagher. This way, please. Ah, oh, Tesla. Just the man. What new developments do you have to show me? Quite a few intriguing things, if I may say so. Any further news of the uh, trouble in Grosvenor Square? Police are investigating. And investigating. Lycans, on the United India Company's front doorstep, what do you make of it? Mayfair isn't what it used to be. Uh, permit me to oversee a few of my new experiments. Uh, in the meanwhile, take a look around, uh, play with whatever strikes your fancy, but do be careful. Nicola, how fares your friend Edison these days? Thomas and I are not on speaking terms. The man is an idiot! Hard to believe we ever use these communicators. Hmm. No gibberish to me. Sir Galahad.
Please, this way. Here is something you may find interesting. This device allows you to convert between Edison's inefficient direct current and my superior alternating current. Quite handy for overloading and incapacitating certain electrical systems. It's comprised of an inverter, transformer, and rectifier outfitted with some brass clips to enhance the design. Oh, and a fine leather carrying case. Inside each tube is a small quantity of mercury. When the mercury is properly aligned, the device becomes operational. Please, try it. Ah. You never cease to amaze, Nicola. I'd appreciate your expert opinion on my latest whimsy. S684 Marksman Carbine. Impressive. You've always had a good eye for craftsmanship. I've outfitted this one with a telescopic sight. It's ideal for long-range shooting. I would be honored if uh, you would test its efficacy. With pleasure. Recoil is sharp, but manageable. Some muffling might be in order as well. I'll attend to it immediately. So, are there any other of my children that you would like to meet? The offer's tempting, but I must return to the others. Of course. Oh, the monocular that uh, General Lafayette requested is over there on the table. I'll see that he gets it. We scour the district in pairs. Isabeau, you and Lafayette take the high street from the south end. Galahad and I will move in from the north. Why not give the Frenchman to Galahad? Mademoiselle doubts my intentions. I promise to remain at all times the picture of chivalry. I'd prefer to have someone more experienced looking out for me. I thought you needed no looking after. Very well. You team with Galahad. Mademoiselle will perhaps one day allow me to demonstrate my skill. One day? Remember. We are entering rebel territory. The insurgents will take umbrage at our incursion into Whitechapel. Given our little discovery in Mayfair, the London hospital should be our target. Strange to think Lycans would find sanctuary here, is it not, monsieur? You really believe the rebels are collaborating with the half-breeds? The Lord Chancellor is convinced of it. I have my doubts. Do you trust anyone, Mon General? Never accept, always question. It's a motto that's seen me through the centuries. Stay vigilant, all of you. We can expect hot work here. Ah, quelle joie! A nest of cut purses, collaborators, and whoremongers. I knew it very differently once. A lone chapel stood just there, offering sanctuary to travelers. That was before even my time. The city walls had yet to come up. Now you can smell Whitechapel. 